Scarabus Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey from Hunter Lang. What's it like? Should this be on your list? Stay tuned for the whiskey whistle. Greetings and welcome my whiskey friends, Mark here at Whiskey Whistle on YouTube sharing a little whiskey awesomeness from Winnipeg, the center of North America, bringing you Scarabus Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Now this is my 2020 NAS Whiskey of the Year. I really think this is something that you need for your shelf. And let me tell you why. Now first of all, natural color. Let's have a look at that beautiful natural color, shall we? Keep the lid on. What do you think of the color? Fairly light. Not that light though. This is about roughly 18, 24 karat gold. Maybe more like 18. Beautiful. Whoops. <laughs> and the nose, very briefly. It's like a spiced Christmas ham. Beautiful. Done on the barbecue or something. Interesting. Now, let's have a look at the legs and see what those are like. Make sure you check out your legs because that is really part of the enjoyment of what whiskey is. Scarabus, what kind of legs have you got? Fairly slow additional legs, medium speed I'd call it. They are just about at the bottom now. There, they've just reached the bottom. And the secondary legs are very showy and beautiful look at that so i'm expecting a very nice nice mouth feel with this one and i believe we do have that since i've tried it many a time now a quick shout out to lee hansen from select wines hi lee thanks so much for coming to winnipeg he came to winnipeg and showed off all of hunter lang's cool stuff amongst them was the scarabus which everybody loved and i think we sold about 16 bottles of Scarabus that night. Very cool. Beautiful stuff. Now let me get into the nose a little bit more deeply here. So that Christmas ham. And it's got a little bit of clove stuck in there. Some of the the um, the skin, that, um, uh, that crisp, that crackle on the ham has burnt slightly. And we also have some really lovely, just nice, straight up wood smoke coming through here. There's also a bit of pineapple. So can you imagine almost that sort of Asian style of ham with the pineapple and the sauce? Hmm. All right, on to the palate. Cheers, folks. Mm. beautifully mouth coating very rich it's got all of that that barbecued hamminess this is peaty this by the way i believe as i was told is kulila they don't say it on there but so the story goes and they have extra matured that for a few months maybe three months in virgin charred american oak barrels Mm. There's a little bit of straight up like meat drippings on the barbecue as they sizzle. And, uh, and that ham, that Christmas ham with the pineapple. Some sweet potato in there too. Raisins, raisins, sweet potato, ham, cloves. Mm. with just enough ambient wood smoke from a bonfire, building that up, making it just so nice and warm. It's as if there was a, uh, a nice cedar sauna nearby that um, somebody was, you know, heating up those rocks and throwing on that, that water just to get that steam and you get that waft of uh, cedary notes. Beautiful. Let's add a little bit of water here. 
46%. We're just going to add a couple of drops, maybe five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoops. Okay, well, seven. That's okay. We're still only at about half a milliliter. All right, let's see. You get more of that cedar sauna. A little bit less of the spiced ham. The peat becomes a little bit understated. But a flawless Isla single malt nose, especially for its age, is probably like seven, six, seven years old. I don't know exactly, but it's certainly mature enough. And the price is incredible. I think I told you that in the um, presentation for whiskey of the year, $59, incredible price. All right, on to the palette with water. Hmm. Slightly more ashy, still very sweet. We still got that roasted pineapple and that slight Mm, sweet potato, roasted sweet potato, ca caramelized, caramelized sweet potato there. Now, if you don't like sweet potato, let me just give you a hint. Crank up that oven. Get it up to like 450, 500, maybe even hotter. And you really got to induce caramelization in that sweet potato to really make it delicious. Just try it, all right? Anyway, so a bit of that caramelized sweet potato here. And again, a little bit of vanilla bean. Wonderful. All right, well, let's get on to the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey Score for Scarabus Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey from Hunter Lang. What is that going to be, folks? It's going to be 89 out of 100. You heard it. 89 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey Score for Scarabus from Hunter Lang. Well done. Beautiful. And great value. Excellent. Just beautiful beautiful stuff pardon me keep dropping that uh, that whiskey hat there incredible presentation beautiful packaging it's simple it's elegant really unique so happy that I've got that in my stable to try again and again and if you haven't tried Kulila you might want to get the standard edition 43% yeah I think you're gonna want that more so I think this one does a little bit better than the 12 year old Kulila in my opinion and in fact I even confused the two in a blind tasting I thought this was better than Kulila 12 so there you go well hope you enjoyed that let me know your thoughts on Scarabus and if you're enjoying what's happening here on Whiskey Whistle why not jump in and support the channel through Patreon join the Whiskey Whistle crew patreon.com backslash Whiskey Whistle all right and if you're watching this all the way to the end Hit the subscription button right here, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to be notified of the future Whiskey Whistles, ding ding. All right, take care everyone, bye now.